Hi, welcome to Arch Labs 3.4.0. We're on Arch and we have an open box um, desktop management system here. And we have a specific R Dark Takao team. And I've made Sardimono Arch Labs icon specifically for this distro. And we're looking at this little bugger here a termite terminal. And we get this straight out, out of the box. So if we click it open, it's already there this NeoFetch. So that's what we're on. I just want to show you guys what you can expect in Arch Labs. First off, uh, all what you see is of course fine-tuned already. I added some icons, I added teams, I added a plank team and all that. I added the Conky Aureola. You'll know everything on my website, you'll find it there. But maybe let's go first over what is Arch Labs. So this is our URL archlabsblog.wordpress.com you'll find everything here and as well where you can get it so when you click here you go to SourceForge and the latest one is 3.4.0 like I told you and let's have a look it's there I don't know four hours five hours so we'll soon see the, the numbers go up since we have downloaded or are already ourselves so the number is not ticking right, right now so um, that's that. We have a forum, archlabspro.phpbb.com, where you can get uh, writs and report any bugs. A bug report here, so you can help us improve the system even better by telling us what's going wrong, and then we can include it in the next release. This is our GitHub, uh, Archlabs GitHub, where we well, work as a team, and the, 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 the team here you see up here from New Zealand, Australia, India, Belgium. These guys are making this happen. So here we have them, five pictures here. And uh, we're bringing you this release 3.4.0. You can contact us here, Arch Labs Public. You'll find here some information and as well, but that's more specific than you have to become a member and the development team all right that's just an intro what does it look like so this is plank on the top here we have tint 2 that is doing everything you have you can tune it the way, any way you want it with anywhere on the desktop you can right mouse click it and you can run a program like so or run a terminal that's termite again or you can do a web browser file manager tunar is the one we're using and um, file manager of course you can change your file manager whatever you want when you install the program you can choose your own terminal and you can choose your own file manager and web browser under here you can see to the preferred applications and then you say which, which browser you prefer and all that so that's that's there for you media player VLC and accessories, all kind of accessories, you just go check them out. They're just the normal standard things you'd expect in any of uh, the distros, well-known programs, and some lesser known programs. Here are all the places and the recent files I've touched or edited. And here the fun starts, so the preferences is where you can edit the system. So this menu here you're looking at can be edited very simply here edit menu.xml so if you don't like the menu and you want to change for instance the web browser I like like you see uh, you can choose it here but for instance you don't want genie but you want sublime text you just type it in here sublime text 3 and as well here the menu and the name sublime text and it's gone you've changed your menu I'm not gonna save it that's easy that's just this menu here that you can edit like any text. Here are all the shortcuts. So if you are looking for shortcuts, you like shortcuts, you can display them in a new window. These are all the shortcuts available in the system. You just go over them one by one and then you say, okay, this looks interesting, that looks in interesting. You just keep it in mind and they're always there. So you can always go back and look and see what they are or you can go in here and check out all them here so they're all there maybe it's better to open it like this then so it will really open like so whatever you want it's there two options 
So we're talking about the preferences, open box preferences. You can change the looks. You can change anything here really. So you just go over them one by one and you can change the themes there. And if we go further down, key bindings as well. It's again, these the keyboard shortcuts. You can alter keyboard shortcuts any way you want. But if you do any of these things here, you should restart open box with this button or control shift tap. Then the compositor is the one making all these things transparent and also the shadows and the shading and all that. You, if you don't want it or you want to disable it or restart it, that's here. The conkey is something special. The conkey you're seeing now has been changed. So the standard conkey from Arch Labs. I changed it with my own conkey, which is called Areola conkey from GitHub. So that's something you'll have to discover on your own. You can, it's quite interesting, the conkey chooser, because you can run three, four, five conkeys at the same time. I can't do this with, uh, that's uh, easy with this conkey choose, chooser. It becomes wonderful easy. Reloading anything, editing anything, you check it out. So tin 2 is this thing up here, the menu. All right, you can choose something, restart it or edit it. So again, we go into a text file, so you can change that. Alex appearance is quite interesting because here we can change our themes, our fonts, our icon themes, the mouse cursor, which I like is this one, window border, very important. But sometimes people forget to open box is different this window border is really set apart in here so if you want to have another kind of look then you have to do it in here it's just this border here so don't forget it's here that's that what else xfc appearance since we have two in r uh, we need to set uh, it straight so that all the themes and and icons are everywhere the same and the fonts as well so now everything is looking uh, the same. Graphic user interface for tints, quite interesting because of sometimes people don't like to edit all these files and they want to have just a graphic user interface. Here it is. Change around, look around. Don't forget to maximize and scroll because some of the things have really, you can scroll really down. Okay, so you don't forget a menu. That's that, and that. Let's go to choose a wallpaper, it might be interesting as well. So, if you say I would like to see a her, for instance, and screen one, apply it, and then we're looking at her. I'll apply this one for now. Well, this one as well is a nice one. Let's leave it at this one, okay, and then. We can our set the wallpaper. We have also variety installed, so we can change wallpapers here as well. And it's coming from Desktopper CEO. Great tip. Go look at ericdubois.be and look for variety. Lots of uh, tutorials on there. Preferred application. We've seen that. D menu is another menu. You can just go and type whatever you want. Firefox. It was something with printing. Oh yeah, what was I looking for? I was looking for the system config printer. That's the name. You all know the menu, but that's the name. And so you can go and find stuff. The updater, so the PAMAC package manager and updater. You can edit stuff as root and so on. And this is a lot of things. So if you get stuck or if you want to be creative, um, these are all themes you can find here information there is uh, and so on so we're through it we've gone done gone over the menu um, there are a lot of things to be told but don't want to make it too long so i'm gonna quickly show you things to move around so double clicking here double clicking there maximizing here nothing special but then press your windows key and then go to the numeric keypad. So I have a keyboard which has a numeric keypad to the right. And I press Windows 4, 7, 8, 9, 5, 2, 
three, six, five, nine, seven, eight, you get the drift. It's going to tile my windows all over my screen, which is the way I want it. Windows left, windows right, windows up, windows down. So the, those were the arrow keys are quite interesting. And for all the other keys, I let you just discover them. You can go over them best maybe in this little window. A lot of what I showed you now was, was this lot and um, as well as Windows, this this lot. But as you can see, there are more keys and uh, it's our, on our agenda to make these keys even better and improve them. So that's up for next release. Hope you enjoy Arch Labs. Um, let us know what you think about it. You know where we are. Go to the forum, go to the Google Plus and um, let us know. Enjoy.